another episode of Vlogmas is kicking off today. Today is going to be boring though. I don't really have anything going on. But what I do need to do, let me turn this way so y'all can see. I need to get this hair together. Like it's a problem. Um, sometimes you get so caught up in day-to-day -day tasks, you know, taking my baby to therapy back and forth, you know, gotta get an old change, gotta get groceries, gotta clean my house, all these things, like beauty and things that are less high on the priority totem pole kind of get pushed way down. Like my nails and everything have just been really a hot mess. You guys know this by now if you watch any of my videos. I don't usually partake in any beauty services. I don't get my lashes, nails, and hair, and skin, and all that done. I do everything myself. And um, I don't think that'll be changing anytime soon. I just really can't see it. I don't want, I don't like to spend money on that kind of stuff. And I honestly feel like some, oftentimes, most times I can do a better job at it versus sitting there watching someone do my nails or do my hair and I'm just sitting there like, Ooh, you, you're doing it wrong. You know, that's this DIY life. Like I just, I'm a creative, like I just can't get over it. I just feel like I can do it better myself. So I probably will never start getting those services done, at least not anytime soon. But because of that, the downfall is that you have to make time to be able to do it. So all of those hours that people spend in salons, like I don't have those hours to do it myself here in my house, you know? So I'm gonna take today, these next couple of hours to just beautify myself, you know, groom my nails twist my hair, you know, wash it, make sure it's nice and clean and conditioned because right now this ain't it. And that's all, just taking a little, I don't want to even really call it me time, but I guess it is me time. What I don't want to call it is self-care. Like, I don't know, I don't think it's self-care. It's more, it's more like me time. So yeah, I'm just going to bring you guys along on my little beauty routine right quick. So um, not really anything exciting unless you're into that kind of thing. But first things first, when I was driving out of the driveway this morning, I saw that our little tree fell. Ann is mad high right now. Stopped and got me a coffee from Dunkin' Donuts while I was dropping Ann off. I got some sponsored posts that need to go live today, so that's gonna take forever. Cause I just don't wanna make any mistakes like typos or you get a hashtag wrong or something like that. I try to maintain a certain standard of professionalism when I work with brands because I am being paid uh, to perform a service. No different from like a corporate job responsibility. So I like to take it very seriously. For those who don't, I mean, that's them, but I like to take it seriously because mistakes are just unacceptable. I just feel like I'm looking real wintry today. I got on my hoodie, my winter boots. I got my little winter hat. I just feel like I'm looking like I'm about to go skiing or something. Turn this off before I get a copyright strike. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're doing, y'all. I got my fave, my Cantu leave-in. I'm just gonna use this to twist. Basically, I'm just about to twist my hair. I just, okay, let me catch y'all up. I just washed my hair and conditioned it, so now it's just time to put some twists in. Honestly, I just, I, you know, I'm not after any particular hairstyle. I'm really just, let me turn the fan off right quick. I'm trying to hurry up so that I can go pick up Ann from therapy when that's done. I think I got like an hour. Um, but I'm just twisting my hair because if I'm gonna be running around not doing anything with my hair, I'd rather it be detangled, cleaned, conditioned, moisturized, and twisted. Um, I might be able to get a hairstyle out of this, who knows? But I'm just gonna twist it for now. So this is gonna just be more of a protective style for me because I feel like I'm kind of getting out of hand with running around here with these ponytails. I can't keep on doing that. It's not sustainable. Forces you to kind of handle your hair very aggressively, you know, because you're just trying to hurry and put it in a ponytail. This will make things a lot easier for me. So all I'm doing is um, just putting some of that leave-in conditioner in there. You guys, look how much my hair has grown since June when I cut quite a bit off. There are still some low key areas where there are little hints of heat damage from the previous set of hair, head of hair that I had. And my stylist knew that when she was cutting it, but she, she was basically telling me that the heat damage was so inconsistent all around my hair that if she were to have removed every single drop of it, which she was more than capable of doing, um, I would have had like a very, very short cut. It would have been a lot of adjusting and getting used to it and stuff like that. So I just told her like, look, I made the executive decision to keep some of the heat damage. I was like, well, you know, it's, it's so sparse and sporadic that I think I can get away with just like having a couple of inches of it and no one will really notice. And um, no one really notices. <laughs> so I'm just detangling my hair with my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. Y'all, Felicia gave me that brush, like when, um, like in person, we were in 
LA uh, about three and a half, four years ago. And I was there, we were both there for the same uh, initiative, but it was Cream of Nature. They were sponsoring the red carpet for Barbershop 2. And um, they had me as a red carpet correspondent and they hired Felicia to do my hair for that. But anyway, she gave me that brush. That's when I think she was first launching it. And I have been using it ever since, is the whole point of this story. I've been using it ever since. It's one of my favorite brushes. It's like a paddle brush improved, like a paddle brush times 10 for like um, kinky curly hair. Something's in my eye. And I know some other uh, brush manufacturers have kind of copied the style of this brush. So I don't know, there's some comparable dupes out there. So if you guys like this brush, because you always ask me about it, definitely holler at Felicia Leatherwood. Just Google Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush and then it'll pop up. And as y'all can see, I'm like twisting my hair in real time here. And it does not take me long to do this. Like if this took me long, I probably wouldn't be natural. Like I, I couldn't be bothered. People know that about me. Like I'm, I have to keep it quick and swift because time is money. I like stuff to be quick. I could not have a high maintenance hair situation. But what I find about natural hair is that it actually is quite low maintenance, contrary to popular belief. Like every process you engage in is based on like you and like how you go about it. So like if 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 you're the type of person who overcomplicates things and like you put a lot of unnecessary effort into sometimes simple stuff, then yeah, having natural hair is gonna be high maintenance for you. But somebody like me, I'm gonna force processes to be as efficient as efficient as possible because that's just who I am as a person. So yes, this can be high maintenance, but it's not for me. But sometimes my hair does get on my nerves and I actually have been toying with the idea just bouncing ideas off of, off of the inside of my own brain um, about maybe locking up. Never thought of it in that way before, but I kinda, I kinda have been lately just because, y'all see how long my hair has gotten? Like, that's real growth. It's real growth right there. Anyway, uh, locking up, that's what I was saying. Yeah, so I've been kinda thinking about it. I don't know, the only thing that stops me from wanting to lock my hair up is, I feel like after that I, I can say goodbye to like wearing any wigs or uh, anything like that and, I, and I'm not a wig wearing person but I kind of just like the idea of knowing that I could if I wanted to so that's the only thing about locking up that I'm not too keen on but also you guys I've been thinking about locking Anne's hair up the only thing that stops me from doing that is just you know not knowing what her opinion is on the matter but then I'm always thinking like well I guess if she doesn't like it she could just cut them off I mean you know what I mean she could you know potentially comb them out if she didn't like them but the reason I'm thinking real hard about getting her locks is because you know my daughter has autism um and she has some some unique ways about her and she doesn't like her hair being touched it was not always like this um it's becoming more and more of a problem and so lately i've really just been moisturizing her hair and i have like five seconds to do that and i, I send her on her way because she really doesn't like it and more and more she's becoming um expressive about that so i was like well maybe i should just you know lock her up and then that way i don't have to do anything to her hair on a regular basis you know it's it's going to be already styled you know the way that it needs to be styled so i don't know i've been kind of thinking about it like maybe more along the lines of like freeform locks or something like that so it's still in the you know conception phases i haven't made any decisions i still have to talk to her dad about it i'll have to get some you know do some research and see what all it entails because you know locks are one thing for adults but i'm pretty sure it's probably a whole different thing for for children um you know toddlers and children so i'd have to do a little bit more research but just letting y'all know i have been thinking about it because i just want to make her life easier i don't really want to force conventional hairstyling practices on her if it's going to make her uncomfortable all the time you know so i've just really been pulling away from styling her hair. I mean, we have to clean it, we have to wash her hair, but lucky for us, she likes water, so we're able to kind of distract her with the fact that she's, you know, playing with water. But the styling stuff, she's really not feeling it. And it's just, it's not every day, but it's just like some days, but the days are, you know, falling closer together, so I'm starting to think like, yo, like she really doesn't like this, like, you know, so I don't know. Okay, so about 15 minutes later and your girl is done, honey. So they're kind of wet and juicy. Look at these little juicy turds. I love this. <laughs> this is why I cut my hair because I missed the juiciness. I missed my hair being full from the root to the tip versus that little stringy stuff on the ends that I had. So yes, I do still have a little 
couple little areas mixed in. They still have a little bit of heat damage. I mean, it's probably like centimeters, but um, I just feel like over time as I trim my hair and groom my hair, I will eventually completely get rid of all of that. Um, but right now I feel like the majority of my hair is really really healthy, so I'm actually good with it But yeah, this is this is just kind of what I wanted to do. This took me about 15 minutes um, I just I, I like to have a little maintenance here. I like my beauty routine to stay pretty low maintenance I'm just that kind of girl. That's why I didn't want to have a perm anymore because I didn't want to commit to Getting something touched up every six weeks like it was killing me like even when I had a perm I had a perm for like five years. I didn't even you know, what I mean I had a perm for five years of my life and um, it was it was pretty miserable. I was like, ew, this is just too much. And this is just easier for me. Okay, now let me do my nails. All right, I'm just sitting at my kitchen table. And I just need to get this polish off. I don't know, for some reason I like sitting here when I do my nails. Like the perfect table height, perfect lighting, right? Um, so I'm gonna get started on this. I also need to go to Best Buy or something, you guys. Well, I could probably just order it online. Um, but I need a new one of these because I have to put you guys on my tripod my big old like Because this thing is not working the way it used to and my sister's calling What's up tweet Tell me what's popping girl You see me with my little twist my little dookie twist I see you I see you you about to be out here standing on these hoes like what? Whoa. No, I'm filming though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, they know they know I'm a little gangster with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look at Casey. They can see you tweet. Oh, what's up, y'all? <laughs> oh. We we FaceTime every day, usually at the same time you're driving, I'm driving. Yeah. Forgot to tell y'all the good news. That um your girl Kay is expecting baby number two of <laughs> how many months are you Kay? tell them uh, about five months you know for those that are in the pregnancy um world 20 weeks <laughs> <laughs> and it's a boy okay L little prince little prince is on his way and she also da -da -da -da, bought a house a new house <laughs> <laughs> We're moving on up. <laughs> they just bought a brand new house. They sold the townhouse. So they do, doing a lot right now, buying and selling and renovating. They renovating the new house to um you know, give it updates and make it how they exactly want it. You know how we do. You know, we got to come in with the with the demolition team and pull out the old and in with the new. So they they renovating the house. So Kay is just superwoman right now, honey. I uh I got some good news to share. Oh, snap. My project manager called me and wanted to let me know that the um, the project has changed a little bit regarding the resources, but she wants me to step into the project management role. I'm like, bet, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny because in my last vlog, Miss, last year, you were on FaceTime with me and we were talking about you getting this new job and everything, and now you're on the new job, and now you're telling me about these even greater opportunities. <laughs> Potential promotion, okay. <laughs> Vlogmas is good luck for people. This, but Vlogmas is good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, of course. And then the client is like, yes, we want her. Yeah. I'm like, yay! But this honey, is definitely you your year. Oh, you gonna make me cry, Tweet? You better not cry. You little sensitive boy. I just love when great things happen for you, and you know, it's. Look, I'm about to cut it off. <laughs> All right, we we gonna get we gonna get a little deep. We are gonna get a little deeper. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.